How do you become more manly? These are some informal tips. These are not from a professional. These are all the things that I have done, my team has done, my friends have done, which have resulted in a much more manly person. This is the problem. Many of us are not manly enough. Why? Because maybe we are grown in a feminine environment or we didn't have much more fatherly influence or maybe we just don't have any siblings that are men. And this can be a major problem because each and every one who has a masculine influence can be quite dominating, which leaves you much depressed because you are, well, dominated and you are you feel inferior because you feel more feminine. So these are five things that you need to do. You need to take action and you need to put in your mindset if you want to become more manly and if you want to have a better life, a more superior life. So, number one. This is not professional advice. I want to warn you. This is just things that I do. So number one is to do at least 50 push-ups per day. Just 50. You don't have to do 100. You don't have to do 1,000. Just do 50. Any age. You're 12, do it. You're 20, you do it. You're 40, you do it. You just do 50 push-ups any day. You can go to the gym. But if you don't have a gym membership and you're too fucking lazy, then at least do 50 push-ups per day. It is essential, it is necessary for you to develop testosterone. There are chemical and scientific reasons for it and scientific reason is that when you push up, the testosterone in your body spikes up and that testosterone is what develops your deep voice, all the manly characters that you have. So if you want to become more manly, my friend, do at least 50 push-ups per day any age. Number two, spend more time with brethren. If you don't have any man friends or you are just, you know, a nice guy, many people, there's a typical term. I don't like the term nice guy because it just infuriates all the men who are just more friendly. And I don't want you to assume that you're a nice guy. Maybe you have boundaries, but if you think, if you are a total wimp, you need to spend more time with brethren. And if you are not a wimp, you still need to spend more time with brethren. You don't have to have a hundred friends. Just have five friends that take care of you, that love you, that want the better of you. There are going to be bad apples in any bush, but at least have five friends that are more likely to help you move forwards. Now, I don't like the term nice guy because many people feel inferior from that term. So if you put boundaries, maybe you are friendly. Maybe you just like to take care of anyone. If you just like to you know, take care of people, maybe you have that feminine touch. It's okay. In tip number five, I'm going to be talking more briefly about So stay till the end. Number three, don't be a goddamn pussy and take everything personal. Don't take everything personal. Not everything is a personal attack. What do you do? Don't take everything personal. Now, I don't know your level of paranoia, but most of the time it's not personal. And if it is, confront. If you want a video on confrontation, I'm going to be doing one in the future if you want. So leave it in the comments below if you want the informal tips on confrontation, all the things that you need to become more manly, more superior, more successful. Number four, forgive and forget. Don't hold on to grudges because if you hold on to grudges, it signifies one thing. You don't have anything better to do than have the grudges. You can't forgive because you're weak. A manly man forgives and forgets. If you want to become more manly, forgive and forget. Maybe you had a childhood bully. Maybe your mom, dad didn't take care of you enough. Maybe you felt left out. Forgive and forget. It is a hard one, yes. If you have any grudges, it is a hard one. But if you do, you will feel much more free. And you will focus on more things, on being more manly. And you need to forgive and forget. Now, number five. This is my opinion and many people will agree with me is that you are already manly enough. You are special. Now, you might be thinking it's just cliche, but hear me for a second. You are already manly enough. Use these tips just for a boost in your masculine side. But if you have a more feminine touch in you, use that, embrace it, go forwards in life. If you appeal to your true side, to your true nature, you will be authentic. People will like you much more. People will feel confident. People will trust you. You'll be much more authentic. People will love you much more if you use your feminine touch for something more than just feeling sorry for yourself. You'll become much more successful. You want one example? 
James Charles. If you don't know him, look him up. You are 21st century, I don't know how you don't know him, but look him up. He uses his feminine side and he has grown the massive influence. So what do you need to do? Embrace yourself. Don't let society, others, your family, your friends, your siblings, don't let anyone suppress who you really are. The same for the females. You are already feminine enough. You don't need to be someone else. You are you and you are much more special than you know. Believe me, you are special. But don't let that specialness hold you back or your negative feelings hold you back. Use what works for you so you can go forwards in life. Now, this may be informal, this may be formal, this may be cliche, but this is the truth. Now, choose your future. Do you want to become a pussy or do you want to become a man? The choice is yours. Choose.